It's breakfast time at Whitehill Outdoor Education Centre near Pendle Hill in East Lancashire. Ahead of these young people from a school near Preston, a five-day programme of activities in the surrounding countryside. This week there are 59 at the centre divided into five groups. And in due course they will be going fell walking, climbing, caving, canoeing, among other things. But for now, on this first day, everyone will take part in a joint activity called problem solving. That is, exercises aimed at encouraging thought and planning, initiative and teamwork. And as always, everything is explained beforehand. This is Pauline, the deputy manager. Negotiate the snake pit. Cross the ultralight room. And many more. <laughs> Are you up for it? Yeah! Okay, you may go. Your time starts now. Good luck with your mission. The programme set starts with a climbing frame and moves on to three other challenges of a different kind, each to be accomplished in a given time. A new day and the start of the major activities of the week. Whatever they might be, the right garments, foot and headwear must be worn. And here in the centre's equipment store, everything needful is to hand and everyone is fitted out before the venture begins. This morning's venture for one group is fell walking but not before one of the several instructors in charge has made sure that everyone understands what will be involved 
what rules have to be followed, what safety precautions must be taken. This rough plan of the route has been talked through in detail with the young folk. And then it's off to the summit of nearby Pendle Hill, about 20 minutes walk through the picturesque village of Barley on the Pendle Way. Standing just short of a mountain in height, weather conditions are of course always unpredictable and today's ascent looks like running into thick mist. This is Pendle Hill as it would be on a clear day. Meanwhile, back at the centre, another group is being prepared for a different adventure, mountain biking. And once again, all equipment is to hand, and care is taken to see that everyone is familiar with their machines and how to handle them before setting out onto the rough tracks of the surrounding countryside. After each adventure, all the equipment and clothing used is checked, sorted and cleaned before going back into store. Another day, I'm from riding to climbing. Here the group concerned are learning the basics of rock climbing in a nearby disused quarry. And as with most of the outdoor activities, this will be a first time for the young people.
Not all the activities at Whitehall, of course, are outdoor. Group discussions feature in the week's programme, and this morning the subject is the landscape, past and present, and how it is affected over time by the movement of the Earth's crust. Round about, how Round about the same speed that you think about going. If you didn't cut your nails for a year, they'd probably go about two centimetres. And that's about the speed that these continents are moving at. Extremely slowly. But they've been doing it. For a long, long time. Alright, you should have rucksack number 17. Two. Charles is 32, correct. And blue coat. Meanwhile, preparations go ahead elsewhere for a main adventure of the day. For many of the young people, coming to Whitehall is their first time away from home. And most probably, it's also their first taste of an entirely new dimension. Right, so what you doing? Keep your eye in. What's going on in there? the camera. Another challenge which takes place, this time in the fields around the centre, is orienteering. Not on a grand scale, of course, across open country, but sufficient to give the young folk the idea of how to move from point to point using a simple map. Of all the week's activities uh, at Whitehall, this one, canoeing on the Leeds and Liverpool Canal, <laughs> will be remembered perhaps as a favourite. Lots to learn, lots of teamwork, and not least, of course, lots of fun.
With the week coming to an end, one final challenge is given to the groups. Planting upwards of 2,000 spring bulbs in the space of one morning to give next year's visitors a bright welcome. The last day. With individual and group achievements acknowledged and thanks given to the centre's staff, it's time to go home. So well done. Now we do need to get one group back really, really quickly. And if we're going without uh, their bags, they'll have to. For five days, the young people from Walton Dale have been given new experiences, taught new skills, put to the test, encouraged to succeed. Will they come back another year? We bring city children on a team building week, which includes all aspects of outdoor pursuits. For most children, this is their first time away from home, so self-organisation is something that we really concentrate on. The staff here are brilliant, and we're extremely well fed and tutored. And the last thing we do before we leave every year is book again for the following year. We're very happy coming to Whitehead.